Hello and welcome back. This is Candice from Candoodle and I am super excited to be back with another Lawn Fawn Fans video hop. This is our spring hop and we are sponsored by Lawn Fawn today, so make sure to stick around for all the giveaway information. Today I've made not one but four cards using the new Spring Blossoms background stencil, so let's get started. So today I'm using my Waffle Flower Media Mat, which I love for doing all of my ink blending, and I keep it on a hard placemat on a shelf in my craft room so I can take it out anytime I want to use it. And I'm going to be using three different sets of ink. So I have my lightest set, which is Salvage Patina, Squeeze Lemonade, and Kitsch Flamingo, my medium, which is Peacock Feathers, Mustard Seed, and Picked Raspberry, and my darkest, which is Mermaid Lagoon, Wild Honey, and Festive Berries, just to give you an idea of where we're headed. So for two of the cards, I wanted to do a tone-on-tone -tone look, so I'm going to blend my lightest set, which is Salvage Patina, Squeeze Lemonade, and Kitsch Flamingo, and I'm going to blend those just simply onto a piece of cardstock, and I'm going to do this for two of my card panels. So I'm trying to get a nice seamless blend, but it doesn't have to be too perfect because we are going to be stenciling over top of this. So I'm going to do this on two of my card panels and then set those aside to dry for a little while while I work on my other ones. So now with the same colored inks, I'm taking a fresh panel and I'm going to come in with the first layer of the Spring Blossoms background stencil. I love this stencil. It is so pretty. So I line it up with the lawnfawn.com at the bottom to make sure I have all of mine the right way because this is a three-part stencil. And then I'm going to come in with the, those same three colors that I used on the other panels that I just did. So again, Salvage Patina, Squeeze Lemonade, and Kitsch Flamingo, but you could use any colors. I just wanted an Eastery sort of spring vibe, and pastels always remind me of that. I don't know if that's just me or others do too. So once that's done, I'm going to peel that up, and that is super pretty, and now we are going to add the second layer. So the second layer has some of the flowers on it and some other little dots, which are really pretty. And again, I'm lining it up where it has the lawnfawn.com at the bottom, and as you can see, I am using a piece of paper just to keep my fingers from getting all over my inking. I just find that's a cleaner way for me to kind of do ink blending and stenciling without having to use pixie spray and still get a nice seal between the stencil and the paper. So for one of my panels, I'm going to stop there just with part one and two of the stencil set, but for another one of my panels, which I blended off screen, I got it to the same point, and then I'm going to come in with set two, which is my medium set, which is peacock feathers, mustard seed, and picked raspberry, and I'm going to use the third stencil from the set and blend that over top. So this is just a little bit darker than the other set that we were using previously, so it's going to give a really nice tone-on-tone -tone look for those flower details that are included in the third set. So as you can see, it looks super, super pretty here. And then we are going to move on to our next two. So I went and got those Distress Ink Blended uh, backgrounds that I had worked on previously that were now dry. And I'm going to come in again with set number two, which is our medium set of Peacock Feathers, Mustard Seed, and Picked Raspberry. And I am going to do the same thing that I did for my initial cards, just with the slightly darker medium set. So this is going to give us a more tone-on-tone -tone look, and the background, instead of being white, is going to be that set one color, so like the soft rainbow, and then we're going to have the slightly darker rainbow over top. So I did stencil one and stencil two from the Spring Blossoms background stencils, and I'm doing those both with this medium set of rainbow colors that I've selected. Again, you could use any colors to your heart's imagine with this. Um, I just wanted a very springy look for these cards. So for one of my panels, I am going to stop after doing stencil one and two, just like this, and it looks super, super pretty as you can see, but for my last and fourth panel, I am going to get it to the same point, and then I'm going to come in with stencil number three and use my darkest set of the three colors. So for this one, I have Mermaid Lagoon, Wild Honey, and Festive Berries. So I'm going to do that third stencil, which is the most detailed layer, with my darkest set of colors, and that's going to give a tone on tone on tone sort of look, if that makes sense. So all of these backgrounds, I use the exact same colors, same techniques, just slightly different hues to get slightly different looks. So I'm going to show you all of them now before I pop them up on card bases. So we have the first one, which is using stencil set one and two with just our lightest inks. And then this one uses stencil set one and two with the lightest inks and the medium for stencil three. And then these last two, we have our lightest inks in the background, and then stencil set one and two in medium, and then this one also has our darkest inks with stencil three on top. So a few different looks with all the same stencils. 
Off camera, I did a whole bunch of die cutting in different cardstock. So I used the giant XOXO as well as the giant Happy Birthday. And then I used the new Henry's ABCs to cut out Happy Easter. So I'll show you what I did for each of the cards. Um, through the magic of fast forward, here is my layered stack die cutting. For the first one, I used XOXO in some kind of shimmery cardstock on top. And then I have a glitter layer shadowed behind, and I did that for the happy birthday one as well. I thought that looked really good on the darker rainbow background. And then for the other one, I put the glitter layer on top with a white offset shadow. And for the happy Easter's, this one took me a while. I die cut each of them twice out of white cardstock and then once out of glitter, but it's definitely worth it. And they almost look like chipboard in person. So I kind of lined them up where I wanted them to end up and then I'm coming in with my T-ruler to make sure that they're nice and centered and I fiddle with them for quite a while, which is why this is in super speed mode. And then once I'm happy with where they are, I glue them down starting from the center. That way I can make sure that they stay nice and centered even if uh, things deviate a little bit. I know I'm a little bit uh, anal with these sorts of things, but it really helps with the final card. Uh, but you can totally freehand these if you feel confident in doing so. I just definitely do not. So the T-Ruler is very, very helpful. So I love how that one turned out. And then I am going to glue the other ones down just towards the center. And each time I glue it down, I like to put a little block on top. This is a slab of concrete or marble uh, that was a counter sample once upon a time and it actually works fantastic for being a paperweight. Once I am done gluing down all of my die cuts I am going to add some sequin embellishments because I need to to complete my card. On my XOXO one I did leave room for a sub sentiment strip if I wanted to add one later on. And of course, before this video ends, I want to give a special thank you to Lawn Fawn, who is sponsoring today's hop with a $25 gift card to their shop. All you have to do to be eligible is leave comments along the hop. And of course, we would always appreciate if you subscribed if you haven't already. Everybody on this hop is so wonderful and so, so talented. So I would definitely encourage you to check out all of the stops, which will be linked down below in my description. Make sure to check them out and leave everyone some love. I would love to hear from you down below which card is your favorite, number one, two, three, or four. I think the fourth card that says Happy Easter is my favorite of today's set, but I'd love to know from you down below. As always, I am so appreciative of the time that you spend here. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me over on Instagram at Candoodle Creations. And until then, I will see you in my next video. Bye!